today I'm going to demonstrate how to test a CRT or picture tube, whatever you wish to call it. And we're going to be testing the tube in this little 15 inch GE black and white TV that I picked up yesterday. This tube works, but it's going weak and it takes a long time to warm up, so we're going to test it and rejuvenate it if necessary. This is a B&K model 470 CRT tester and rejuvenator. As you can see, this actually was property of Sears Roebuck's service department at one time. And these testers were very common during the 70s, 80s, 90s, even up into the 2000s, and I suspect some TV shops still use them. They're good testers that'll check most any color or black and white picture tube made over the past 60 plus years. And when I got this particular tester, uh, Sears had the rejuvenate portion disabled on this tester. I guess they didn't want their technicians rejuvenating tubes, so I found a schematic for it and I figured out what all they did and I fixed it back right and now I can rejuvenate tubes with it. So without further delay, let's open this TV up and get on with this. Okay, here's the inside of the TV. It uses the XB chassis which is a solid state black and white chassis that was used in many 12 inch and 15 inch GE black and white TVs from the 70's and early 80's and the picture tube type number is a 15 VAUP4 so what we want to do is look up that particular number in the setup chart for the tube tester and we find that 15 VAUP4 is listed here uh, with a filament voltage of 6.3 volts and we use socket number 7 so let's find socket number 7 okay we've located socket number 7 and we have it plugged on to the CRT tube tester plugged into the AC outlet first thing we want to do is set our gun selector to the red, black, and white, red slash black and white position, which we've done, and turn all three of these G2 controls to their full counterclockwise position. Of course, since this is a black and white tube, this control here is the only one we need to be interested in. Now we set our filament voltage to 6.3 volts, so turn the knob to set heater. And there we are, 6.3 volts. Okay, rotate to heater to cathode leakage. There is none. I'm tapping on the neck of the tube to possibly show up any intermittent leakage. Now, G1 leakage, G1 to cathode, nothing there. All right, now we set G1 voltage and that's normally set to 50 unless otherwise indicated in the manual which there was no indication of that so set to 50 volts now rotate this knob to set G2 and you set this for one division Okay, and there we go, set for one division on the scale. Now we go to read emission. And as you can tell, this tube is kind of good, but... And it looks like it's slowly climbing up. Now since this tube is already going weak, I can tell the effects of it when operating the TV I'm going to do a what I call a light rejuvenation on here and our options are remove shorts, clean and balance, and rejuvenate 
Now I'm going to set this to clean and balance because that's the lower form of rejuvenation and as you can see it places a higher filament voltage on the CRT the nice thing about these new testers is they're current limited so it's not an actual brute force rejuvenation technique which a lot of the older testers used and as a result a lot of CRTs were ruined so what we do we press this button down and hold it down until the needle falls back down and then release the button so let's see what happens and a lot of times if these don't fall back down pretty quick there it goes now let's go back over to sit uh, well first let's check for shorts because sometimes these will short after a rejuvenation okay this one apparently did okay Reset our cutoff. Now let's see what the emission reads. Now yeah, that's better. Okay, let's fire this set up and see what it looks like now. I don't think so. That's what okay, here it is. It's much brighter and doesn't take near as long to warm up now. Now, we didn't have an ABC license to sell the liquor, and, but we... Schools all over the world. Where weather is... My classroom, I enjoy having um, the newspaper. It's important for us to do that. A lot of our students don't have access to... And it really is helpful, and it really does change people in a good way. And I was changed in a good way. Now what happens when a picture tube becomes weak is contamination builds up on the cathode over time. And when that happens, that limits the amount of electrons that are emitted from the cathode, thus causing a weak picture tube and poor picture quality. I've actually seen these tubes that were so weak that you could just barely see them lit up with all the lights turned off in the room. And when you rejuvenate the tube, what happens is the picture tube checker uh, essentially sends a high voltage between the uh, cathode and G1 element in the tube and it arcs between the uh, cathode and G1 elements and clears all the trash off of the cathode, thus increasing electron emission. Now rejuvenation is usually a temporary fix. It's not a long-term fix. Eventually the tube's going to go weak again, and you'll eventually just have to replace the CRT. Now how long will rejuvenation last is anybody's guess. I've rejuvenated tubes that lasted for, for years, and I've rejuvenated other tubes that wouldn't even take at all, and then I've rejuvenated other tubes that would work okay for a day or two, and then they'd fall back down again. So I'm going to eventually try to find a, a good picture tube for this TV. It's a neat little set that I want to keep. Okay, we're almost out of time here, so we're going to call it a day for now, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. And I hope you enjoyed it, and more to come later. Thanks for watching.